if your idea of doing a time lapse is just shooting video and speeding it up in your editing program, I've got news for you. You've been doing it wrong, and this video is for you. I used to do a time lapse by just taking a video and speeding it up in Adobe Premiere Pro after the fact. But that's not how it's done at all. It's actually done through pictures. And I thought, you know what? There's gotta be a simple way that anybody that owns a smartphone can do a time lapse. And I looked and there's tons of apps, but I found one and it's called Frame Lapse. And this app, it helps you set the intervals and the length of time that you wanna take those pictures to get the time lapse that you want, which I think is amazing. So we drove out here to Hidden Lake. Now that I have it all set up and it's shooting and it's taking the time lapse. I'm gonna walk you through the settings that I used in frame lapse to capture this lake and this sky. I set mine to 1080p for the video resolution. I put it at five second intervals. In hindsight, I could have probably bumped that up a little bit just to speed up my time lapse. Next, I put it at 30 minutes because I wanted to make sure I had enough time. With five minute intervals, this ends up being about 30 seconds of video. Then the final option is white balance and exposure. I locked both of these. I made sure to put it on infinite for autofocus. And then my white balance, I just kept it at auto. And the last option was exposure, compensation, and I did nothing with that. Got nine minutes, almost 10 minutes. Waiting on a time lapse, looking towards the future. I didn't expect this, but when your phone is being preoccupied by an app taking the time lapse, you can't scroll your phone. Like, I can't leave my equipment and go on a walk. I got a great idea, great idea to waste some time. That probably took about five minutes. Check this out though. This is gonna be in my time lapse. I hope it takes out really good. There are people that are out here now on this lake canoeing. So me and my daughter are sitting on this bridge while this time lapse is going and she drew a picture of me and her sitting on the bridge. Check this out. I really hope nobody calls me. I really hope nobody calls me or sends me a message on Facebook or something like that because I don't know what will happen. Nobody's called me yet. I haven't got a notification on Facebook, but it's a half hour, man. I really hope nobody tries to get a hold of me because um, I did not put on Do Not Disturb on my phone. I wasn't thinking about it. So my mistake is your reward. So you might want to do that. If you just have a mobile device, then the time lapse that you just seen is exactly what you're going to get. But if you want to jump into Adobe Premiere Pro, enhance it with some motion blur and add some color effects, stay tuned for the next video. Please hit subscribe and leave a comment down below and let me know what you would have done with all that time sitting there waiting for that phone to take a time lapse. Thank you and God bless.